Okay, hello everyone. This is Mrs. Sharon Leslie Jeter, and I am with Derek Samson Jeter. And as you well know, um, you know, there are other people out there that are trying to pretend like they're with Derek. You know, there are things in the paper, like they link him with some blonde. They had him linked with some blonde not too long ago. They had him linked with the whole female cast of Friday Night Lights, FNL. They said he was with the actresses of FNL. Like, they're trying to say he's with all the actresses of um, Fast and the Furious and stuff like that. When, in fact, you know, they're, like, friends and associates and stuff like that. Like, he's not dating, you know, everybody. He's, like, he knows some of these people. He hangs out and stuff like that. But they're pretending like I didn't make the rumor. Somebody else made it up. No, they're getting their agents and stuff like that to get these rumors going. They get these pictures taken. It shows that they're all out on certain days. And I know that they're not out at those days. So I, I, I know it's not the case, but it's in the papers. And sometimes people believe and they run with it. But as we can see, November 2010 came and went. And the liar from FNL, Mickey Kelly, she's not married. You know, if anything, she's trying to marry John Mayer. She's trying to get his attention. She wanted to live in Soho to be near him. Um, she's filming, you know, and so she, uh, and she's trying to pretend like she's with Derek instead of the fact that she's somewhere filming and she can't act. So I don't know really what she's doing on the set. She might be doing somebody. Her mother was a stripper, so basically she, you know, picked up that art form. So, like, other people that get into the industry and they might get photographed about something is different. But her, she likes to take her clothes off because her mother took the clothes off for a living. So you cannot tell me, like, that's a step up. Your mother did that, and that was the road you didn't want to go on, quote-unquote. But you wound up taking great pleasure in having to take off the clothes and strip. And, you, you know... You're going to be applauded for going backwards and being a stripper. Okay. Her mother was an exotic dancer, stripper, prostitute on the side, like selling her body. She's not with Derek. Derek is not entertained with strippers and whores and paid women, you know. So, um, that's not, but that's not an issue of mine. It's just I don't like the fact that um, she's pretending and using it to try to get role. And the only problem with that is... She can't even act. Damn it, when you get the role, you can't even hold on to it because you can't act. You know, it's like, you know, and people have to, you know, break their, uh, what do you say, their integrity if they're going to try to keep something going that she's doing because they know within their hearts that it's not good. She, I mean, she blew up a whole network and, and, and ruined it because they tried to keep her show when her show was horrible. They should have cast someone who can act instead of trying to find someone that might be related to somebody else or whatever the case may be or somebody almost famous. Like, no, you know, you know, rely on your own talent. And and you can't do that, then you, you shouldn't be in, in the industry, you know. But, you know, the, the way the industry goes, I guess if you drop to your knees, you can get where she's going. She wants to take a close she'll drop to her knees in a minute, but she's not with Derek. I am. And so that's just the case. And, um, you know, like I, not too long ago, I, um, you know, it's like I, I, I spoke about my birthday and, you know, I've always spoken about that home run because that was so significant for me. And, you know, everything that I do, she tries to latch onto it. So if I speak about, you know, him hitting me the home run, then she's going to try to make something significant about May 2008 because I said May 2008 was so significant because he hit me the home run. Every year has a different significance to me for us. I can go back for each year and kind of give some kind of significance of what happened with us during some time in that year. And so you've got to find, like, everything that I'm doing. That's just, like, go, you know. You can't make it unless, you know, you are using my attributes and things about me. 5174, sing 5174, that's me. So now, like, come on, you know, I, that's me. Don't, don't be me. Be whatever it is you. I don't know. Like that's that's just pathetic, you know. And Derek, he likes someone who is authentic. He likes the real thing, and he's not, you know, going with that. I mean, he's, you know, it, it's not even gonna work, you know, 
it, it doesn't work, you know, and, um, you know, you can't, you won't ever have them, but that's not the point. The point is, it must hurt to have to try to be me. It must hurt to have to pretend to be me. No matter who's helping you lie, that's not the point. The point is, you have to look in the mirror at yourself and say, the only way I can get over in the industry, being friends with people, being acquainted with people, is I gotta act like I'm Sharon Leslie Vegeta. Guess what? You have to pretend to be me. You have to pretend to be Sharon in order for people to like you. Nobody likes you unless you pretend to be Sharon. So you have to walk around and pretend to be me. I wear my hair like this. This chick wear her hair like this. If I launch something from a certain place, she got to do it. If, I, if I'm around somebody, she has to do it. But the only thing, I, I did something successful and I didn't have to, I, the way I got my views, it, my my site, I didn't get my views based on people knowing that I um was with Derek because anybody that knew that I was with Derek had nothing to do with the success of that site because when I went for the viewers I went somewhere totally different from my viewers so when I look at where the view viewers came from I could see it had nothing to do with anybody who knew that I was with Derek and that I am grateful for because it is that you know it wasn't because of his celebrity it was because of the fact that I was talented because God gave me talent you know there is a God he's the one who gives people talents you don't try to be somebody else you know and then you gonna you try to be me but for like the long haul like she she didn't just pick up you know some people might look at somebody and say hey I like that and do one thing she's not trying to just pick up an attribute and say hey let me find my own she's trying to just take like just be me like 24 7 baby you can't do that not on your your best day you can't be me you know what I'm saying I mean and some people like phonies and stuff like that because you're easier to deal with than the real thing and that's like some people in Hollywood probably like that because they can make you hit your knees when they want to and they make they can make you do things that a person like me they can't make do you know um, like for instance in Hollywood you she would bend over back and she would take off her clothes she would do anything for fame she would try to do anything but she's not that big of a she's not a draw at all the only way she's a, uh, she gets any kind of attention is standing next to someone who is famous and they get the attention but my thing is point you know point is that me and Derek are together and she is pathetic really I mean and I was on 46th street when he hit my home run 